Okay, so I'm just doing a quick video on my phone to show a few new features for LV1. I'm on version 14, the latest that they just released in the last week with the new features. This is getting close to the end of January 2024. I'm not sure the date because I can never keep track of that. We could do it the easy way and look. It is the 28th of January. Okay, so I have a session that's 48K. I have a fit controller. I have two servers and I have the Ionic. So if you look down here, I have the fit controller connected. So I also have my remote going. Now, one feature they did was mono groups right here. So to switch over to mono, you just flip to mono and now you have a mono group. Another one they gave us was trim on fader. Okay, what that is for, the, first of all, the way you do it is you go map to fader. And then also, I'll do it one more time on the next one. Map to fader. And then my fit controller follow. The point of it is, probably, you probably have it figured out already, but you just insert your delay, your H delay. We'll go mono. And now you have the send for throws, for delay throws, okay? So if you go look at the channel, and we'll select our effect. So now we have this view, but we also have our output fader. So here's your output fader. And then watch this. So now I can do a delay throw, okay? Mono groups. And it's just mono. And I noticed that when I went from, for virtual sound check at home for practicing with it, I noticed that the, the kick drum got tighter sounding, or maybe it was the placebo effect. Same with the snare drum. Okay. So I just did some quick naming of some channels and you know, standard stuff right there. But in patch, if you go here, Pull up this guy, move that down. Let's do some naming. We're gonna hit, uh, we'll double tap. Just, it doesn't matter. Watch this. Went to the next one. Next one. That's awesome, I love it. Okay, another awesome thing they did was, so if you want to connect tracked, Let's say we want to put tracked on our ma our master fader. And you go to smart. I don't have it connected. What you do is you have your laptop plugged into it and you hit the search button. It looks for it. It'll find it. I don't have it plugged in now, but if I did, it would find it. Then you would hit, okay, you would hit connect. It would turn green. And it would say smart connected. And then down here, you have different TF options, RTA options. Okay, so the stuff that you have to know to make that work is you have to have two ports on your computer, okay? So this is the port for ethernet, and then you use a USB-C to ethernet or maybe the second port on your host computer, and that plugs into a router. Not, you could do a Wi-Fi router or just a non-Wi-Fi router, but it has to be a router. You have to plug in the port that Tract is going to use into a router. I didn't know that, and I spent forever trying to figure it out. So I went on the internet, and I bought this guy right here. This is MicroTick. And it's just a basic router. And then you can program it too. So that's five ports. I did this right here so that the power cable would stay with it. I don't know if there's a better way, but I would kind of want to try to force the power cable to stay with it. So anyway, I have 
Let's see if we could do it this way. So if you look down here, let's see if I can do it. So the red one is the sound grid network. The blue one is wireless control. I have a adapter in there that's converting to ethernet that goes into this thing. And then it goes into this TP-Link hotspot. Okay, so now I can have my front of house, my mon, all controlling it. But there's one more thing. This is the Mixed Mirror app. Watch this. We now have full control. This is mind blowing because the way Tracked works, go to the master, we'll hit channel. When you're connected, this window changes, okay? And it becomes where you now have a capture button in there and you get multiple captures to choose from right here. I'll go up here since it's easier to read. So right down here, you've got, you can choose what capture you wanna use one through eight. So now you can stand at front of house, hold your measurement mic that's connected to a, a wireless cable, a wireless system or a cable. And you can stand there and hold it and you can press on here, there'll be a capture button that pops up. You press capture. And then you can go and go down in here and delay your subs. You would have to have this assigned to the sub channel to do that, but you can do that. And then you can walk around the room quickly and press capture in all your different locations. You can merge it and then you can do your FIR right up here. So I'm very excited this weekend. We're gonna be running, I'm gonna be using Mixed Mirror this weekend for our, sh our three shows. And then, um, yes. No, I don't wanna save the session. We're gonna load the session, okay. Uh, I named it that because the room was pretty bad. And then right down here, you've got all your information. 96K, 64 channel console. It looks like there's a Ionic. Sorry about the glare. Um, couple servers from the look of it. Server one, and there's info on server one, server two. And then it shows Ionic and all these other different. Oh, okay, so that's device number, but not the actual what the device is. So here's what I run for the band iMix. I have a smart laptop that is just a basic $200 laptop, um, and then a MacBook for multi-track. I have the two servers. I have MIDI Fit and Mackie plus my remote. And if you look over here, sorry about all the glare. So mixer one. And then I just have Okay, so if you take a look, the snares are not panned, but other things are. Then I have other stuff going on here too. I have this room mic here. And that patches directly to smart. Okay, so now on my groups page, I have mono, kick crush, snare crush, toms, bass, acoustics, and then their vocal crush groups. Actually, this needs to be put back to the middle and I'll explain that in a second. Okay. And all these, the panning needs to be in the middle because I take the channel and the crush and I drop them down here on the augs. And so if you notice, the snare gets panned here, not before here. It just makes it simpler for me. Bass guitar should probably not be panned. Let's fix that. 
and there you go. And then, so what I do then is I take my subgroups. I'm sending the kick drum into this crush group. Okay, that's heavy compression. Then I have it coming into here, this kick drum here. These guys right here, this off red color, I'm not a lighting guy, so I couldn't tell you the name of the color. These ones all go to here with the channels that are not going through crush groups. All of the drum stuff, including the verb, goes to my final drum. I spell it that way because I love ska, and if this was a ska band, that's how you'd spell final. Guitars and bass right here and reverb. Vocals and reverbs and delays go there. So this is great. The big things are mono groups and then delay. Your trim on fader for delay. This is fantastic. This is, I feel like my life is complete now. Like I can do delay throws. I can do delay throws all day. And I can walk around with an iPad. I feel completed. Thank you, Waves.